Well, you're live, man. My eyeballs go back and forth. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah eyeballs go back and forth. Anyway, <laughs> all right, Jane, we're monkeying around, guys. And um, Kevin, the one in electrician, say hey, Kevin. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're, uh, we weren't able to kind of get together. So we're doing a live thing. He's at his place. He's at his shop. I'm at my shop. And um, we're going to announce the trip. Basically, it's already out there for the most part, but we're going to do kind of a dedicated video and uh, we're going to do it live. So that way, if, if you have a question, feel free to ask, um, shoot us a, uh, shoot us a comment over there in the live chat and um, we'll try to answer your question. But when's the trip, Kevin? When? Yeah. It is May 19th and 20th. May 19th and 20th. Saturday and Sunday, right in the middle of right between Mother's Day and Memorial Day. So we missed two of the holidays right there in May. Um, and uh, where we're we going to the Yakin again? Ain't that where Yackleberry wanted to go? Yeah, I think that's where he wanted to go. <laughs> no, I believe we are going to the beautiful river, new, the New River, South Fork of the New River. Isn't that right? Yeah. South, yeah, South Fork. What's, what's the town? I can't remember what the town name is. Uh, the outfitter is in Scottville, Scottsville, something like that. It's basically um, the the big town, I guess you could say, uh, if if you would consider it a big town, it Jefferson. There's a big town, West Jefferson. Is that what you mean? Yeah, Jefferson, West Jefferson. It's near Crumpler, Shatley Springs area. Um, <clears throat> Anybody familiar with the North Carolina mountains knows what Shatley Springs is. It's a big, some fried chicken and stuff while you're there. Yeah. Um, but uh, May the 19th and 20th. And we're hooking up with the New River Outfitters is who we're going to be using. The um, And we're going to spend the night on the New River State Park. Uh, now, we're going to meet at 930 that morning at the New River Outfitters, and they're going to take us, once we get signed in, get everything done, um, they're going to take us up to Wagoneer Access, and we're going to paddle about 12 miles. That first section, um, there's a little rapid on it. Kevin, you remember the rapid? We kind of go around to the left, and there's a rock kind of in the middle. We, we did 65 miles of that. <laughs> what the one particular rapid you're talking about? Was. Well, it's it's actually the one that's at the end of my part one video, um, and I, I I guess I kind of put it out there that did I make it or did I not make it? It's that rapid. Um, but, oh, that one, that one that's got the little S band in it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. That's kind of the only rapid in this section of river per se. Um, and and basically, if you don't want to go through it, you can go all the way to the right hand side of the river, and you can go around it, or you can go to the left hand side of the river, and you can go through it. Um, there's some, there's some like, what would you call it? Boogie water? Huh? No, not boogie water. It's gonna be like, uh, I guess, class one, like just you know, obstacle. Well, I don't know if the water's high. It could be different than what it was for us. I mean, we were. Going through some pretty little stuff, but uh, the uh, I mean, it, it's it's not just a flat water, but it's nothing that's going to be too bad. <laughs> the Randy Doe said the one change that was going on. I think that's the only no, it ain't the only one I didn't swim on, but yeah. Um, he's probably pretty close. I remember that right. He came pretty close to taking it out on the right on the left hand side. So. No, no, it was uh. That was that was that was the one that come kind of the end of the day or or something. It was a good rapid, I think. Maybe that was it. But anyway, um, that's the only rapid. We're gonna paddle from the Wagoneer Access over to um, the New River State Park, and we're gonna camp at the 221 Access. Now we've already reserved um, 20 spots basically um, for camping. And how many did we have the other day? Three, two. But I already signed up. Yeah. 
Um, not counting us and our wives. Uh, I think there's seven already signed up. Yes, yeah, seven. So we're we're up around eleven so far. So there's still spots left. The price is thirty five, and um, that that includes everything. What do you get for thirty five dollars, Shane? Well, it's you you get um to spend the weekend with us. Well, that right there is worth it, right there. Well, I don't know about that. We probably we probably <laughs> pay it, folks. But um, no, you get the the camping. We've already got the camping covered, and then the shuttle to the to the put in, and then shuttle at the takeout to pick us back up and bring us back to our cars. Now we're going to park our cars at. Um, New River Outfitters, so it's going to be there on their property. They're going to be secure. Won't have no trouble. Um, everything will be good there. And then uh, then it covers also the camping for that night. Now, we're going and, to be and, and And what else do you get for that? What do you, you get one of these? And you get these the bad boys. Paddles wet 2018 sticker. One of these. Um, you get one you're free. Gonna be the envy of everyone on the river. You're going to get one free now. Um uh, providing, and I don't think it's going to be a problem, but providing we've got extras, we're, we're going to sell them $3 each or two for five. Um, so if you want to put one on your kayak and your kayak at home and your car and your beat around car and your pickup truck you drive, then, hey, we got you set up, hopefully. Stick, stick them on your grandma's uncle's car, whatever. I mean, yeah, if you want, put them on your grandma's uncle's car, that's that works too. Um, it's, going, it's going for a good cause. You want to tell them about the cause there, buddy? Well, this is your this is your charity, so you tell them any and all money that we have left over once we pay for everything, outfitter, the camp, and the whole nine yards. Um, where's it going? All right, so every year, uh, I uh. I, one of my charities that I sponsor is the uh, Boy Scouts of America. And what I try to do every year, and this is what the same basic charity that we're going to go, that we're going to put any leftover money after everything's paid and done for, is going to be uh, basically send a scout to camp. So uh, each year, it's $260, I believe it is, to uh, send a, one scout for Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts for an entire year. Um, I think that covers all their trips and all that, you know, all their camp outs and things like that. So that's uh, that's basically what we're going to We're trying to hopefully we can get enough where we can send two for this year. But uh, we at least want to get one one boy to get to go to, uh, or actually now the Boy Scouts taking girls, from what I understand. So um, one boy or girl to go to uh, the Boy Scouts for a year. Um, it's a uh, it's a real good thing, character building, getting the kids out of the uh, out of house and out of video games and all that and they get to go out my son he's a third year cub scout i think man no second yeah second year cub scout and uh the uh he's ever since his first camping trip he's just been in love with you know boy scouts like here in north carolina maybe your already district and there's a place called camp woodfield it's only for scouts and the place is beautiful i mean it's on the Yard River, it's it's a gorgeous place, and what we what we donate to gets these boys to get a chance to go see this and get to experience that. So that's what we're going to donate to this year for this trip is uh, the Boy Scouts of America. Um, uh, next year or the next trip, we'll probably pick a different one. I think uh, Shane's got a few in mind. Um, I'm not sure what you had said before, but uh, anyway, this year we're going to go for uh, for the Boy Scouts, and hopefully we can send a couple uh, boys to uh, Scouts. So the money from the stickers, the money from whatever's left over, because we've already paid for campsites. We've already paid, you know, what, your money will pay for stuff like the shuttle already, but we've already put up front and got the, the campsites, the stickers, and we're getting the shirts and stuff like that. If the shirts are an extra, and Shane can tell you about that in a minute, but uh, so any profit at all will go straight to the chair. We're not keeping a dime on it. So it's all for the boys and girls and everybody to get kids out and doing stuff. So go ahead, Shane. Tell them about the shirts. Uh, the, the shirt is that a bad echo? I think I bumped my deck. Okay. All right. So the shirts are. Um, I just finished up uh, with the um, the shirt lady. The 
middle of this week, I put something on my Facebook page and I did Kevin, did you share it on yours? Um, I, I did. I did. Okay. So basically the shirts are, we can get them in about five different colors and it's got the logo on the back. Get your paddles wet. Second annual 2018, blah, blah, blah. Um, then on the front, it's got two kayak paddles crossed and, um, then get your paddles wet 2018 um to the um i'll add a link when we get done i'll add a link to the bottom of the uh the thing but go on our website the wonderedmonkey.com and i just got them uploaded today if um if you buy a shirt and pick it up the day of the trip it's 18 bucks um for small to extra large if you buy a shirt and you need it to sh you need us to ship it to you i'll ship it to you for an extra dollar 99 so make sure you when you go on the link that you pick the right one that you're either going to pick up the shirt or have it shipped and um it's on our website you can go over there and order some shirts for to get your paddles wet trip now can, can we can they get any color they want because you're the one that's talking to dave i'm not sure about that not necessarily any color there is um I mean, you said you had like three or four on the uh, on Facebook where you would shove them on. So is that the three or four that you can get? Yeah, you can get like a, it's a marbled sapphire, which is almost like a little teal. Uh, you can get a marbled navy, black, orange, royal, purple, and charcoal. Um. And then red, sorry, red are the uh, are the colors you could get for the shirts. Um, so any of those colors, it doesn't matter. Um, small to extra large. If you pick it up from us and we don't have to ship it to you, 18 bucks. If I got to ship it to you, it's $19.99. Um, 2X and bigger is 20 bucks or $21.99 if I have to ship it. So um, now I've got to have that into her by April the 29th. I'm sorry, April the 28th. So cutoff is April the 28th to be able to get the, the order to her. So that way she can get them done and get them to us by the time of the trip um, here in May, which really, I mean, it ain't. You know, five weeks, six weeks. What is it? Six weeks. We'll be on the river. Yeah. Um, basically, um, we'll be getting you paddles wet. And right now we've got, I want to give a shout out. Um, who was shouting out? Who was shouting out? Who was it that, oh man, who was my first one? I was trying to remember. And I know I ain't going to be able to pull it up probably quickly. Oh, the first to register with us? Yeah. Um, was it Tracy? Yes, Tracy was the first. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I found it. Here it is. I want to give a shout out to Tracy. He was our first person to sign up. And then I'm going to have to shout out to Mr. Randy Taylor. Because I'm going to tell you what, man. This joker is driving from Ohio down to come paddle with us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to give him a shout out. But right now we've got three, five, six, seven, um, seven plus. Then, of course, Kevin, myself, and um, our wives are will be there. So we're looking at about. So you get to see the uh, women that manage to put up with us and all the crazy stuff we do. Yeah. They, they, on trips and making videos all the time and all, this, all the hours and hours of editing. You get to meet them. See what it takes to <laughs> to be a wife of the wandering monkey. So, uh, but uh, let's see. So we got set. So twelve, eleven people as of right now, and I'm sure that's going to go up. Um, that's just off your first Facebook post, I think. So, um, and we've got enough right now for what is it? Twenty, not counting us. We're trying to keep us. Which we know our our four can be. Yeah, we can okay. take, we can take twenty people with us, and I know as of right now I've got about another four 
that are supposed to be paying this week. So now, uh, what about camping? You've actually been there and saw the camp sites. So if you want to tell them about what the camp sites look like, so they know whether I mean, I'm pretty sure you said they can use tents or you can use hammocks, right? Yeah, you can basically go either way. Um, the 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 campsites are set up. There's basically if you go on the New River State Park um, website and look at their map, it's the Highway 221 access, and as you, it, it's got a parking lot, um, and right off the parking lot is a little gravel road, and that leads up, and then you got campsites on the right side of the road and the left side of the road. And everything on the left side of the road is um, riverfront. And we've got the four campsites basically reserved that are right around the bathhouse. So we're going to have a bathhouse for anybody's wives, whatever, that want to want to wash off a little bit. We'll have Welcome, a bathhouse. Man. And um, then we're going to and, – and now basically how the sites are kind of laid out, there's a, there's, um, a gravel – pad basically at every one and it's big enough for a really about an eight by or an eight to ten man tent or maybe like two of the small dome tents it's a pretty big pad and then around all the campsites there's trees all over the place so if you're tent camping if you're hammock camping there'll be room enough um that we should easily be able to squeeze everybody in and not have any kind of problem at all with um camping whether your tent or whether your backpack and like i said we're we're um i want to say it's like whatever the there's three campsites along the river and then one right beside the bathhouse those are the four campsites that we've got reserved so we basically took everything right around the river um took it kept it do what nothing go on keep talking Okay, so that's basically where we're at. That's where we're going to spend the night. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get up the next day, and we'll paddle just a little bit down to um, the New River Outfitters, and we'll stop in with there with them and um, uh, just kind of touch base and set up what time we think we're going to be at the access for pickup. It's about 12 miles for the first day. And a little over 10, right at 11 miles for the second day. And if the water's flowing any at all, that, that, I mean, that's really, that's nothing. It won't take us long at all to knock those miles out. And we'll be able to, um, you know, have, have a lot of time at camp where everybody can meet each other and just kind of socialize and have a good time. So um, May the 20th or 19th and 20th. 35 bucks if you bring your own boat. If you need to rent a boat from the outfitter, that's a $60 um, for the rental, the shuttle, and the camp. So, I mean, you can't beat that, man. Most places, even for a day trip, if you rent a boat, it's you're looking at 50 or 60 bucks right here. And this is a two day rental, two shuttles, and a night of camping, even if you have to rent a boat for 60 bucks. So, I, I was really pleased with the the outfitter when we went and spoke with him. Um, so we got, yeah, you might have said it already. I was trying to uh, spread the word a little bit about your line right here. Um, so we got, you told us 18 miles, isn't it? Is it 18 or is it 20? Now our trip next weekend, which oh, nobody knows about, but I get it, but that's, uh, that's 18 miles, right? So this is, uh, is it 21 miles? It is well. The first day is about twelve. Wait a minute, hold on. First day is about twelve, and the second day is like ten and a half, eleven. So total, we're going to be about twenty-two miles, give or take. <laughs> you just like paused. Yeah, you're trying to read the comments too, aren't you? Well, no, I was trying to read the comments and I was trying to answer your question. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, about 22 about miles, give or take, and um, then we'll be that's it. So, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. So, uh, so may not or 
May 19th, 20th, get your paddles wet in 2018. For those that are just, I know some people just join in, you get your shuttle, your, uh, your shuttle, your campsite, and your uh, amazing one of these right here. I'll take the credit for that one. But uh, you get your own sticker, and all the proceeds, anything beyond what we have to pay ourselves is all going to uh, uh, charity for uh, Boy Scouts. And hopefully we can raise quite a bit. We're going to take the money for the T-shirts, too. Um, see the change Facebook. You'll see more about uh, the T-shirts and stuff like that. Um, what else, Shane? Well, the uh, give me one second because I am trying to get the link right now to put on the live chat for – all right, there we go. Um, the I just put the link up on the live chat for to be able to get your reserve spot on get your paddles wet, and also if you wanted to order t shirts. Now, I've the deadline for the t shirts is April the 28th, the deadline for going on the trip is April the 30th because I have to give a um, I have to get the t shirt order in on, by the 28th, and I have to give um a head count to the outfitter on the 30th so you, those are my two do you uh do you have the waivers they have to sign or they have they all fill out all the waivers for uh the outfitter before we get there right i do um and and i was trying to get uh, i've struggled I, i'm not tech savvy in any way shape or form and so <laughs> I was, i've struggled <laughs> I've struggled with getting it all on the website, but um, the uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm putting together everybody as everybody pays for the trip. I'm putting together an email, and probably what I'm going to do is send out a mass email and let and and in the email I'm going to have um, maps for anybody that wants to print off their maps for this trip, um, little information stuff about the river if anybody wants to print that off. And then I'm also going to have the waivers and um, to be able to print that off. Now, one thing about the waivers, if you're um, taking more than one person in your group, which a couple of them are, you don't have to fill out a waiver for each person. Just um, fill out one waiver kind of for the, the head of your group and then put everybody else's name down on it. Um, and that covers everybody according to the New River Outfitter lady. She was like, don't worry about all that stuff. Just get one, you know, per person or, or basically kind of per group. So um, I'm going to put all that in an email and I'm going to send it out to you. And um, you, got the, uh, you got the uh, media release as well? Yeah, I'm, I've got all that. I'm working on all that. I just can't get it uploaded to the website for some reason. To where do, we to go them, down. Do, we, do we need to tell them what a media release is? Well, basically, um, if... Good chance you're going to, unless you tell us, you know, you're you're not okay with it, which we had someone last year on the trip that didn't want to be particularly named or, you know, a lot of video of them anyway. We did our uh, very careful to edit him out as much as we could, but uh, that's uh, the media release basically saying that you know you're going to be filmed, you may end up you to watch their videos it's not going to end up some kind of crazy you know just bad taste video it's going to be going down in front of it just basically you know, and the way things are legal now everyone's got to kind of cover themselves for everything you do so but there'll be one of those he's going to have on the website to fill out along with the others and again all it does is say that you know that you may have your picture and it may be put on youtube or maybe put on a website but you know there's nothing you're going to be doing. I hope anyway that you'd be worried about getting your picture taken for. So, and you know. if you don't want to be on there, just tell us. Like last year, we had a guy that didn't want to be on YouTube, so we we just kind of edited him out the whole trip. Nice guy, and he's coming back again this year. Yeah, they paid, and they'll be back again this year. So, yeah, can't wait to see you guys again. Um, hopefully, he'll if if you're uh, watching or listening, um. Don't forget to bring your fishing rod. 
Don't forget to bring your fishing rod because last year he caught us some good fish. So we ate we ate separately. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, Kevin, we got some good ones. Um, I right, got some questions in here. Uh, is there lodging available for Friday? Five hour drive from here. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeff, if you've got Facebook, send me a message on Facebook to monkeying around. Um, we've got another guy driving about five hours and um, I touched base with him and give him some ideas um, because it's a possibility. It's about a two hour drive for us. And there's a good chance that um, me and my wife might go up the night before and um, just crash somewhere up there in the area. So now that was an early drive. It kind of answers the question. We're in West Jefferson, which is really close to Boone, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, I I would say Boone's probably what about 45 minutes. And okay. there's, well, there's also there's also Sparta and. Uh, Independence, Virginia, over where the New River Campground is at, which is on down the river some. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. And then you've got Twin right. Rivers Campground. Twin Rivers Campground. There's uh, Camp USA that's down the river some way near the outfitter. Like, they're really close to the outfitter, I think. Yeah, River Camp uh, USA is right there. Um, so then, uh, there's several places that are campground kind of thing. So, yeah, and, um, you'd be probably within an hour drive of a major town or something like that. Probably less than that. Yeah, so Jeff, hook up with me um, via Facebook. Um, if hopefully you got Facebook, if not, shoot us an email, WarneredMonkeyProductions at gmail dot com, and um, I'll, I'll get you hooked up. Because um, the other guy, I, I talked to him last week, week before last, about um, options for him because he had about a, I think he was about a five and a half hour drive down so we'll get you fixed up absolutely we'll get you fixed up um if not you can come crash on my couch we'll, we'll put you up somewhere you don't want to do that well I, I do <laughs> <laughs> all right so um Earplugs for the trip everybody Earplugs. let's see here any other questions i think we got it t-shirts 18 and 20 if you pick up day of, if I got a ship to you, just add a dollar ninety nine extra. And um, anybody that's paid so far, I've got it. Um, I'm going to send out an email probably later on next week, and just kind of welcoming you to the thing. And um, then we'll send out uh, another email with the the waivers and the maps and everything. If I can't get them uploaded online, I'm going to try to get them uploaded online. And if I can't, then um, I'll send out an email with everything in it that you would need. And if you got questions, ask. Um, hit us up on Facebook because we'll sure try to help you out. Lodging, whatever we need to do. We'll uh, we'll get you fixed up. So, Did you mention what time we're going to meet that morning? 9.30. Oh, somebody just asked the same question. Michelle asked the same question right there. Yeah, Michelle, look at that. Um, 9.30 that morning is when we're going to meet at the Outfitter. And um, the, the reason we're collecting money ahead of time is last year we had to individually go in and pay and individually do everything. So this year we're going to walk in, me and Kevin, go, go in, sit down with the lady, hand her all the waivers, hand her all the money while everybody else is getting their boats and everything loaded up. And so hopefully that'll cut a lot of time out um, as far as uh, getting prepared to uh, to get the trip started. And that's that's yeah. the reason we're doing all that. Plus, hopefully. Last week we had like 25 people say, oh, yeah, we're coming, we're coming. And what, 12, 12 or so came? Something like that? So yeah. Yeah. A lot of people out there that make preparations for us if we tell them 20 and only eight show up. Yeah. But um, the uh, somebody else's message popped up on the other side. It's not. But uh, Michelle says uh, Twin Rivers Campground is great. It is a uh, good campground. The uh, me and Shane stayed at the primitive camping right there in the bend on the last trip down through there. I don't remember what the site number. Like four or five. But we had a couple of hammocks. So. Um, so. <laughs> 
Yeah. What else? It says message sent. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I saw that when I was thinking that. Um cool. So, if we're gonna be uh next weekend me and Shane, just to give everybody a little heads up, next weekend me and Shane are going for a uh overnight trip, right? You still in Shane? Yep, we're doing what's the name of the creek? Uh Hunting Creek in David County. We're gonna actually do what I tell you, almost nineteen miles and never leave the county, which David County for anybody. Around here is a tiny county, but uh, just right down the road, we're gonna do Hunting Creek, which is yeah, I, I posted some pictures the other day. So it's a pretty little clear water creek, and it's just not yakking. And there is no landings, there's no uh, we're gonna drop in off the side of the bridge, but there's no landings, there's no public access. Long in town, the cool um, and we'll be taken out at the first actual public access. So there'll be no one on this river. I've never seen anybody do this before. Um, I'm sure it's been done, but I've never seen a video of it. Never seen anybody. Uh, I've never heard anybody talk about it. I just happened to be driving through Daddy County the other day, and was like, "That'd be kind of cool. I wonder if I could drop in there." So I started researching on the maps, and I was like, "Do that." So I'll be saying up and like, "Hey, what if I told you I got an 18 mile we could do in Never Leave County?" And he was like, "I'm in." So we're in now. It's it's a thing we're gonna do that next week. There should be a couple of videos coming up for that. And I believe we should have, I think we're gonna have service on that one. So we're gonna go live from there. Yeah. Um yeah. we should on that. In Davy County, I think I got pretty good service. So I should be good. We should be able to go live maybe one night. Um on that. But you know what? Um one other, I guess, piece of business we need to take care of. Um, none of the River Kings have committed oh, to the trip yet. He's calling them out. Um, yes, I, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just call them out because. Um, um, and you know what? I've already had somebody ask about them. Were they going to be there? Um, one of the people that um, paid sent me a message and said, "Hey, are they going to be there?" So, uh, Pete, Brian. Boys, Yackleberry, y'all been called out now. So, um, yeah, if you're gonna get your paddles wet, come on. And, oh, it's, not, it's not the big boy part of the action, right? Big boy part of the memory. Yeah, yeah this is the kitty section. The section, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> but come on, let's go, River Kings. All right, um. If you got questions, like I said, shoot us a message. Kevin, one an electrician on Facebook. Um, myself, monkeying around on Facebook. Shoot us a message. We'll answer all the questions we can. T-shirt orders in April the 28th. April the 28th. Um, outfitter has to be notified April the 30th. So the deadline for the T-shirts is the 28th. The deadline for the trip is April the 30th. And... Um, Go out there and get your paddles wet. My turn. Like and subscribe. Like That's my line. This, like this and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Do what? I said this is where you say like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, share.